from the Tribune News Network. This is News Break. I'm Krishna Russell. Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis has announced his intention to table a resolution for the development of an upscale community for young professionals in Western New Providence. This resolution is expected to be laid at Parliament during its afternoon sitting today. The Prime Minister has previously said multifamily lots would be priced at $50,000, while those single-family lots would be $40,000. Dr. Minnis has also said ownership would be outright to purchasers. The Pan American Health Organization said yesterday that regional member states, including the Bahamas, can expect to receive their COVAX-generated vaccines by the end of this week. PAHO Director Dr. Carissa F. Etienne gave the update during the organization's weekly COVID-19 briefing. The Bahamas, since last week, has been doling out doses of the Oxford-AstraZeneca vaccine to healthcare workers, the elderly, and other priority groups. More than 1,500 Bahamian citizens have been vaccinated so far. However, these vaccines were part of a 20 thousand dose gift from the government of India. National Security Minister Marvin Dames has defended the police investigation that caused several Democratic National Alliance members to be held in custody on Monday, emphasizing politicians must be subjected to law like everyone else. Mr. Dames said Police Commissioner Paul Roll was well within his rights on how to handle the matter. He knocked the usual suspects of critics who appeared outside the Central Police Station to blame the Minnes administration for what happened, saying they did not know the facts. Mr. Dames said Commissioner Roll told him him, that the DNA leader, Arinthia Komalafe, and others lacked a permit when they protested outside of Parliament several weeks ago. Tourism Minister Dionisio de Aguilar says he is encouraged by recent spring break travel numbers, adding he is hopeful the country will experience a substantial uptick in visitor arrivals by the end of this year. While admitting he was unsure if arrivals would return to the high of 2019, the minister said the country was well on its way to better numbers after a COVID-19-induced slump in 2020. A turnaround, Mr. de Aguilar told reporters yesterday, hinged on vaccinations, both here and in the U.S. Your complete news and information source, this is the Tribune News Network. In international news, more than three months into the U.S. vaccination drive, many of the numbers paint an increasingly encouraging picture, with 70% of Americans 65 and older receiving at least one dose of the vaccine and COVID-19 deaths dipping below 1,000 a day on average for the first time since November. Also, dozens of states have thrown open vaccinations to all adults or are planning to do so in a matter of weeks. And the White House said 27 million doses of both the one-shot and two-shot vaccines will be distributed distributed next week, more than three times the number when President Joe Biden took office two months ago. The European Union moved today toward stricter export controls for coronavirus vaccines, seeking to make sure its 27 nations have more COVID-19 shots to boost the bloc's flagging vaccine campaign amid a surge in new infections. The EU's executive body said on the eve of a summit of the EU's leaders that it has a plan to guarantee that more vaccines produced in the bloc are available for its 450 million citizens, even if that comes at a cost of helping nations outside the bloc, most notably Britain. The Tribune's AccuWeather update a service of Bahamas Power and Light Company. High pressure across the area will continue to support mostly dry and stable conditions. For all areas, it'll be mostly sunny and warm, with a slight chance of a passing shower in the southeast Bahamas this afternoon. Fair and mild tonight. Winds southeast to south at 10 knots or less, falling light and variable at times over open waters in the northwest and the central Bahamas. East to southeast at 10 to 15 knots, but gusty at times over the ocean in the southeast Bahamas. Seas three feet or less in the northwest and the central Bahamas and two to four feet but higher in gusts over the ocean in the southeast Bahamas. We'll have a daytime high temperature of 84 degrees and an overnight low temperature of 68. The sun will set this afternoon at 721 and will rise tomorrow morning at 708. That's Newsbreak. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper now on the streets or stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.